Hey, welcome, Tamara here. Today I have an inner thigh Pilates workout for you. So grab your mat and we'll get started. Okay, we're gonna start our inner thigh workout with an exercise called frogs. So you can bring your knees in towards your chest and during this series, you can have your arms down by your side, underneath the base of your skull, or I'm going to make a diamond shape with my hands and make a little platform for my hips and place it right under here. So this can definitely be very helpful if you have some lower back issues or if you need a little bit more support. Bring your knees in towards your chest, curl your head up deep in your abdominals, and then bring your legs out to a 45 degree angle and rotate the legs out. Heels together, toes apart, flex the feet, and bend your knees like a little frog, and then straighten the legs up, zipping those inner thighs together. Okay, so I'm already shaking <laughs> because we're already working our abdominals as well as our inner thighs. And if this is too intense, you can always lower the head down and bring your legs straight up towards the ceiling, just like this. And if you're having a hard time keeping your heels glued together, you can always squeeze a piece of paper, a little pillow, anything in between the heels to really remind you to engage them and zipping the legs together. Good, let's do two more. Two. And one. Rotate the legs parallel and let's do it parallel. Zipping the knees, inner thighs together. Eight more. Good. It should feel like a nice stretch to the legs as well. And breathe. Five more. Five. And four. Try and keep the hips stable. Just moving the legs. Two. And one. Bend the knees in. Good. Lower the head down. Take a moment. Turn the head side to side. Rest the neck the ankles a little bit. I'm going to do one more here. Curl the head up. Reach those legs out. Rotate. Point the toes. Now just crisscross the legs. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. All right. Arms down by your side. Bring the legs straight up towards the ceiling and rotate the legs out again. So we're gonna do a similar movement, but a little bit more uh, bigger range of motion. Crisscross the legs, one, two, open, and then switch legs, left, right in front, open, and then right leg in front, left leg in front, open. Good. Now the wider you open your legs, you're definitely getting more of a stretch, but it's gonna be more work on the inner thighs to pull them back up together and just go as far as you can without stretching too far. So you wanna go in your healthy range of movement. We don't wanna pull any muscles here. We only wanna strengthen them and tighten and tone them. Good, so as you pull the legs together, I'm still feeling my abdominals engaged. And as we're working our inner thighs, your lower abdominals your transverse abdominals that are worked very much in Pilates um, are connected into the inner thigh strength as well. So that's why we're going to be feeling a lot in our abdominals because they're closely related, related to our inner thigh connection up through the pelvic floor and into the abs. All right, let's do one more. And press, cross, open, and up. Whew. Good, I felt that in my quads too. I right, give a nice pull in. And, oh my, someone needs to slow down. All right, walk yourself up to a seat position. Don't mind the traffic noise. We live on a very busy road. Okay, so we're just gonna do a little stretch here before we move on. Bring your feet together, butterfly the legs, and then just stretch forward. So we definitely wanna make sure that we're stretching while we're strengthening so our muscles get nice, lean and long and helps us to avoid any injuries as well. Good, come on up. 
Okay, lay back down onto your back. And we are going to do some bridge movements. All right, I'm gonna keep my legs zipped together. You can also put something in between your knees, like a block, a ball, a pillow, um, whatever helps you pull those inner thighs together. Actually, I'm gonna grab a pillow so I can show you. Okay, just gonna place it right here. And my knees and my feet and my hips are all in the same line now that I have a pillow between my legs. Arms down by my side. And just lift up into your bridge position, squeezing the pillow, the block, or the ball. And then lower back down. Good. So we're working our inner thighs. That's the goal of this video. But a bridge is amazing for your glutes and your hamstrings as well. So we're getting some extra goodies for our legs in this movement. And lift up, keep the abdominals pulled in, squeeze that pillow, and lower down. And just do four more, four, and lower, and lower. Last one, and lift, stay up here for a moment, and just do little squeezes towards your pillow. 10, nine, eight, seven, just little micro movements. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, and lower down. Awesome. All right, go ahead, get rid of your pillow and then turn on to your side. Okay, one hand into your head, or you can lay down, you can put that pillow there still if you'd like. And then your top leg is either gonna be in front of your bottom leg, which is a little bit more challenging, or you can place it back here if that helps you. The most important thing that I want you to keep in mind is making sure your hips stay stacked one on top of the other. If they start to roll back, you're not gonna get as much out of the exercise, and we wanted to get us most bang for our buck here for inner thoughts. Okay, go ahead and take your position of choice. Pull the abdominals in and up, and then lift that bottom leg up. We're just gonna do little pulses here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now keep it lifted in little circles. Ooh, I hit my couch there. And eight more. So you want to really think of this as nice controlled movements. And if this is too easy for you and you want more of a challenge, put some ankle weights on and then you'll definitely feel it even more. But frankly for me, I'm already feeling it, so I'm good. All right, two more. And pause, reverse the circle, nice and controlled. Whenever I'm doing this side leg series, I like to also think of, even though my top leg is bent in front, I'm still thinking of pulling it in towards my bottom leg to get more out of the movement. Three more, three, two, and one, and lift it up and hold. Five, four, three, two, one, lower down. Okay, one leg on top of the other, double leg lift, classic Pilates exercise. Pull the abdominals in, hand in front of your mat for low support, lift both legs up and hold. And lower down. And again, lift and hold. Again, we're working our abdominals here. Put your hand back here for a little extra challenge. Two more. Two. And one. If you can't lift up too far off the floor, it's okay. First time I did this, it was like a centimeter. And lift up and hold it. Now lower and lift the bottom leg. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, lift up and hold, and lower it down. Awesome. Other side. Okay. Take your position of choice and 
just a little bit and lift and lower. So whenever we do one-legged exercises, the second size is always a little bit harder than the first because you've already been working those muscles. Like even though this leg isn't moving, it's supporting. So it's still working. So then when you go to work it as the moving leg, it's already been working a little bit, so it's a little bit harder. So if you're feeling that, it's all good. It doesn't mean you're super imbalanced. It just means you're normal. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Check your hip alignment. Make sure you're not falling back as we circle forward. One more. Four, three, two, and reverse it, circle back. Yeah. Feels good. I'm shaking. You know, my inner thighs, honestly, they're my probably one of my weakest parts of my leg. Um, I enjoy working my outer thighs. I enjoy working my hamstrings. My inner thighs are like my most dreaded one because it's like the weakest part. So we all have our parts are a little bit weaker, and it's all right. We just have to work them a little bit more. Go ahead and hold it up for five, four, three, two, one. Stack your legs parallel and lift it up and lower. And squeeze the legs together. Last time, lift up and hold and lower leg up for ten, nine, eight, seven, this is your home stretch, six, really go for it, five, four, all the way up, three, two, lift up and hold, two, three, and lower, awesome work. All right, guys, let's stretch my favorite part. Whew. All right, bring one leg out to the side, bend the other leg in, bring your arms open, and stretch over to the straight leg. And relax. And now turn your torso to face the leg and stretch over. So while you're stretching, if you can't stretch this far, it's okay. I spent many years as a dancer, I spent a lot of time stretching. And uh, as long as you keep at it, your muscles and your ligaments will get leaner and get longer and just have more flexibility. So as you're stretching, just remember to breathe and don't push it too far. You don't want to pull any muscles, but just go to the point where it feels good, but not super painful. And breathe in and breathe out. And it's always good. Sometimes people think that stretching is part of a good warm up but it's actually really good to stretch at the end of your workout when your muscles are nice and warm. Face the leg. So you don't want to stretch too much in the beginning of your workout when the muscles are cold. It's kind of counterproductive. You want to wait till the end of the muscles when they're nice and warm or after a bath or after you sit in a sauna. All right, let's bring the legs together. Butterfly stretch one more time and bring the knees up and open and up and open just do one last stretch open both legs out to the side now okay and just inch forward just a little bit and just go so now i'm feeling stretched i'm just going to pause here for a moment breathe into it breathe in and breathe out i often spent uh, a lot of time when I was younger and I was dancing, I would stretch in the evening, like during the day after I'd already been dancing. Um, I'd put on a show and just stretch for a little bit. And that definitely helped me with some of my flexibility and also injury prevention too. So if that's something you like to do at the end of the day, just go ahead and go into just a little bit of easy stretch. It's kind of nice. It's definitely nice for some um, stress reduction too. I think it feels kind of nice at the end of the day, especially if you sit at work if you drive a lot in the car, like we do in LA, in our car a lot. 
And that way you can kind of just kick back and watch your favorite show, but do something good for your body too. Okay, all right, you guys, you are all done. Excellent work. I hope you enjoyed this workout. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Have a great day.